they introducing all this style of music back into the edifice. We got quartet, we got the rock doing their contemporary, and we have the traditional setting, God bless you, Minister Brookshire. As a matter of fact, this type of setting gonna take place again next Saturday. Everybody say March the 26th. We're gonna go down to what we call it, Beautyville or Mayfield. We're gonna go, let's go to Mayfield next Saturday, March the 26th, at 6 o'clock. It's all the same. Bellway, Mayfield. Follow me down there. I have what they call a singing preacher production. I'm the singing preacher. And I have a production that I'm taking all over Angelo County just before I start taking it outside of Angelo County. But I'm bringing a production to St. Stephen's AME Zion next Saturday. I'm gonna be there. Yeah. I'm bringing in Pastor Curtis Jordan and 516 from Wilson and a young man from Greenville called um, Devon Clark and the men of Zion. And also a, the keyboard player that plays for Keith Wonderboy Johnson and the Spiritual Voices. He has his own group now called Perfect out of Dunn. And I have a little young man that sang with me. He's 10 years old. His name is Michael Boone from Kinston. Y'all heard of Michael? Come, come and hang out with me next Saturday. I probably won't keep you, but Joyce, if you come, I'll let you leave early. The rest of y'all, i keep y'all for about two and a half hours. How about that? But do you know God is really doing a new thing in this season? Do you really believe that? If you will, I want you to pause right where you're at. And you see what has taken place in your life in times past. And now there's this shifting. Slow down for me, musicians, all the way. There's this shifting that's taking place in the spiritual realm. And it's, it's not a coincidence, but what God is trying to do is get us to love on him more so. How, how many know in here, no, don't play with me now, but how many know you can trust God? Put your hand down. How, how many know that you really can trust God? But, but this is the, the ultimate question, and this is where God is going to take us. How many of us can God trust? <laughs> you know that thing we do in our morning worship service on Sunday morning about 11 o'clock for most of us? That's called worship. But you know what worship really is? And I'm going to say it and get out the way. I promise you, give me three minutes. Somebody time me. That thing we call worship is no more than God significantly trying to take us from where we are to where he is. How many are ready to do real worship? Genuine worship. Where if Minister Hill did change clothes to get the head back to dirt, and he accidentally stopped that Shekinah glory with jeans on, that he wouldn't be scrutinized. Because all I did was come to hear God and, and the rest of the guests here. But since I'm here, <laughs> somebody say, since he's here, yeah. he's not anywhere at church. So can I worship just for, I think I got one minute going. Everybody keep the time. I got one minute, two minutes left.
Yeah. <laughs> 